In this video, we are going to see about the signed and unsigned arithmetic. And it's a arithmetic is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. First, we will see addition and subtraction of the signed numbers. So we can represent both the positive and negative numbers in the given binary numbers. Without sign, so for example, uh, here, let's pick. It is considered a number. Say, well, let us take the same number, plus nine, okay? So a nine can be represented one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it is seven bit. With the eight bit, it can be, this is a seven bit representation. Okay, you can represent it with the nine bit also, eight bit also. Okay, so here, let us take with the seven bit binary. So one, zero, zero, one, then all the remaining things will be zero. If it is an eight bit, then you will have zero, Zero and text to be easy for me. So zero 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 one zero zero one. This will be the eight bit representation of a nine. Okay. Suppose I want to represent both positive and negative, then you have to choose the most significant bit. This this is the most significant bit. So that can be used to for representing whether it is a positive number or negative number. If it is a positive number, then it will be zero. Okay, zero for positive. If it is a negative number, the same line can be represented like this. Zero, 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 then one, zero, zero, one. Okay, so a positive nine is like this. That is the most significant bit can be used for representing whether this is a positive number or a negative number. If it is a zero, it is a positive number. If it is a one, it is a negative number. Okay, so there are three different ways to represent this uh, uh, magnitude. So in signed magnitude, you represent like this. See here, this is with a seven bit. We're talking about seven bit. So uh, this is eight bit. In eight bit, Seven bits are used for representing the dimension of the number, that is what it is. Then the last, the most significant bit is used for representing whether it is a positive or negative. So this is for eight bit. So in which case, uh, since one bit is allocated for sign bit representation, the only the remaining bit is allowed, is, uh, is there for representing the binary number. So in this case, in eight bit, only seven bit, which means you have, 2 power 7. So it is nothing but you have 2 power 7. So it is 2 power 7. Here, 2 power in an un unsigned number, all the bits are used for representing the uh, only the uh, weightage of that number. So for example, if it is 2 power 8 bits are there, 2 power 8, you can represent from 0 to 256 numbers in unsigned. Whereas signed means it can represent both positive and negative, in which case the MSB will be the most significant bit will be allocated for representing positive or negative. So only the remaining bits. So if it is eight bits, then you have to say two power eight minus one. It is two power seven bits are used for representing the uh, what the number is. And uh, uh, MSB is used for representing the positive negative. Now in sign magnitude, you can represent it. With this, we see this example. It is a seven bit representation. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Only six bits are used for representing 
and the last bit that is uh, sorry my most significant bit is used for representing whether it is a positive or negative so in this case plus 9 here it is 0 0 is used for positive and 1 is used for representing it as a negative so if you say minus 9 can be other than that minus 9 can be represented like this see here 0 0 1 0 0 1 another way is representing in ones complement means converting all these zeros to ones and ones to zero see here it is converted and then in sign twos complements you have to add one with the ones complement you will get the sign twos complement so add one now you get this value So let us take this example. Okay. Now, uh, same uh, thing. Now I'm explaining with three bits. Okay. If it is two power three, if it is two power three means there are three bits. So it can represent eight up to eight combinations, eight bits. That is from zero 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 to so here zero zero to all ones. So all these things can represent. Uh, that is using three bits. You can represent that. Uh, 8, eight bit, uh, uh, from 0, 0, 0 to 111, that is 0 to 7. Suppose you are using the MS bit. If you are going to use the same three bits representation for a sign bit, then actually the MSB will be allocated for the sign bit and you can represent, you can use only the remaining two bits. So that is 2 power 2 is equal to 4, four combinations. That is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0. So this combinations. So when I give 0, 0, 0, then this becomes, this is a positive representation. So 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, you know, this is for representing 3. So 0, 1, 1 means this positive 3, positive 2, plus 1, and plus 0. Then same way, when you replace it with a 1, 1, 1, then this is a negative representation. So minus 0, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. So that's why the law, this is, this we can call it as a sign bit, AS. This is nothing but the leftmost that is most significant bit so for, for positive it is zero and for negative it is one now we'll see how to add two numbers when you are using the binary uh, that is an uh, signed binary number when the sign of a and b are same when both are same add the magnitudes and attach the sign of a to the result so what do you mean by that when both are same uh, which means both will be plus symbol or both will be minus symbol. In both cases, we will add the value to this. So, for example, minus 5 plus minus 2 means minus 5 plus minus 2, you will make it as minus 7. There also you do add 5, if it is positive 5 and positive 2, then again it is positive 7. That's the difference. So, you have to check what is the sign bit. Based on that, you do whether subtraction or addition. For the addition algorithm, when both the sign are same, add the two number and attach the sign of A. Okay. Otherwise, if there is a difference in the sign bit, compare the magnitudes. That is, what is the value of? So, for example, here, if it is. Say if it is the value is minus 5 and then plus 2. Suppose you are going to do addition between these two means, minus 5 plus 2 means it is minus 3, isn't it? It is minus 3. So what you have to do? Let us consider this as a A value and this as a B value. So you do compare. Compare this value, 5 and 2. So compare and whichever is bigger, okay, that value, that sign is replaced with the result. And then what you do, otherwise compare the magnitude, subtract the smaller number from the larger. So you have to subtract the smaller number from the larger. Then choose the sign of the result to be the same as A. If A is greater, if A is greater, 
then choose okay for example five minus two means here in this case it is clear a is greater isn't it then the value is three and positive three a is greater and re, uh, you have to uh, give the sign of a if it is then if a is less than b then make the sign to be the negative okay so or uh, the complement of sign of a if a is that is find the complement of sign a it is nothing but here plus means here you have to replace it minus then if a is equal to b which means 5 is equal to 5 it is not both are same a and b values are same then again the answer will be zero and this will be a positive okay the sign of result must be a positive So sign with addition. When you see, so these are all the various combinations. When both are positive, and you add, so it will be a plus b, right? Then when both are negative, then again you add and substitute the minus symbol. Then here a is positive and b is negative. Now only you have to do comparison. So if a is greater than b, what you will be doing? You subtract a minus b since a is bigger, and then substitute the uh, that is since a is greater, it will be a positive number. Okay, so substitute plus. If a is less than b, then do b minus a and substitute minus symbol. That is negative of or whatever the symbol of a complement it and do. It is nothing but again we have minus. Then if a is equal to b. Do that and put the positive symbol. So now let us take another example, another combination minus a and plus b. Here a plus minus b. Here minus a and plus b. In which case, again here also, you replace. How to replace it with the result? You find the a minus b and replace it with the uh, sign bit sign of minus. Same way here also, replace it with plus. And then here, since a minus b is equal to then. Make it as a positive plus. Now, whatever I have said here, this is what given here. Start the addition. How you will do the addition? First, you compare the sign bit. If both are equal, then you go here. This is yes, and this side is no. This is a flow chart. So this is for yes, and this side is for no. Let us take it like that. If both are, if the sign bit is equal, then what you have to do? You have to add. That's what we have seen here. Both sign bit. Then we have to add. So a plus b and replace. This is a a. Uh, replace the sign bit, the left leftmost bit, to be sign of a. Okay, and then done. Suppose uh, sign bit is differing. One is plus and another is minus. Here, when sign bit is equal, means that is for not only plus, it is for minus also. So the same rule applies. If both are different, so in which case you have to check whether a is greater than b. If true, then do the a minus b and replace the sign with a. That is, we is la the leftmost bit with sign of a. Then, if it is no, that is a is then we have to check whether a is equal to b. In which case, if it is both are equal, then result will be zero and replace the sign bit of the result also with the zero. Uh, that is positive. That is whatever is the uh, result of uh, that is a is result. A it must be a positive one. Then a equal to b means it is no means a, if a is greater than b here you go. Then you check a equal to b. This is also not. That means a is less than b. That is the final combination. Is that wrong? A is greater than b. Then a equal to b. Then now. So this is also for which means b is greater. That is a is less than b. That condition we have reached. So here we do b minus c because b is greater. With the greater number only we subtract. So b minus c and then replace the sign bit with b b sign bit or complement of a. Finally we have done. Now we see a smaller example with addition. 
Let us take both symbol, both are positive. In the last bit, this, this leaf, uh, this most significant bit will be used for representing the sign bit and only the remaining three bits are used because this is a four bit representation. For uh, easy explanation, I have taken this. So 0, 1, 1, equivalent to 0, 1, 1, and for this equivalent, 0, 1, 0. This bit is used for representing the sign bit. Now, you do addition, you have five. This is the normal answer, okay? When both are same. Now we'll consider both are having the same negative number. Neg both are negative, okay? In which case also you will do, but the representation will be different. Because minus three, you have to represent it in terms of two's complement. Minus two also, you have to represent it in terms of two's complement, then only you have to add. So if you see this minus three, see here, this is the min uh, just plus three. First, we have to represent the plus three and then find its one's complement, which is nothing but one, one, zero, zero. One's complement is nothing but inverting the number. Okay, if it is zero, make it as one. If it is one, make it as zero. Then find one swings, find two's complements, add one with this. So this is the uh, one, one, zero, one. This is the two's complement equivalent of minus three. So that we have substituted here. Because you cannot just like that, you cannot do this. So you have to find the two's complement. If it is a minus symbol, you have to find its two's complement and then only you have to do. Then minus two. Now, if you see this, see here, minus two is, first we represent two, plain two. Then we find one's complement where we convert inverted complemented uh, values, then add one, find two's complement. So now we get this value. So that we have substituted here. And then we do the addition. One, one, one plus one, it is one, zero. So substitute zero, carry here one. So all three ones are there. So it is one and then carry. Now, we want, I want to check whether it is negative minus five. Since it is a two's complement addition, you can leave the carry. Okay, if it is a one's complement addition, you have to bring down the carry to the least bit and add it in order to get your answer. But now what we are doing is two's complement, in which case you can leave out the carry. Now actually the answer is this is one. Okay, and as we have seen, the last bit is used to for the most significant bit is used to for representing as a, it is a positive or a negative number. Now it is a negative number, minus five. Now we'll check whether our answer is correct. So first you write five, just like how we did, we want to cross check our answer. So zero, one, zero, one, then convert to one's complement. So we are one, zero, one, zero. Then add one, we get one, zero, one, one. This is nothing but our answer, right? See here, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, one. This is our uh, minus five representation. Now we'll see addition example for, uh, if this is with the same sign, if it is a different sign, how it is represented. Let us take minus three plus plus two. So this is a negative number and this is a positive number. We want to add these two. So how it can be done? You have to check the whether A is greater or B is greater. In this case, B is greater. So you have to, sorry, in this, yes, in this case, B is greater. Okay. So anyway, we'll do our, uh, uh, what we have done, like the previous addition. So minus three, first you have to you represent it uh, with a normal three and then find its two ones complement. Then this is what ones complement and its two's complement is this, okay? Then you have to substitute that only here for doing addition, whatever it is, whenever that is a negative number, you have to represent its two's complement only. Then two here, now you add these two. What happened? One, 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 all ones. Now I want to verify what I have this, got this answer, whether it is correct. So minus one equivalent, uh, whose complement is this, we'll verify. So first we represent for plane one, zero, 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 one, find its one's complement, which is nothing but this, then two's complement is. So our answer is correct. Now in the next video, we'll see about the subtraction.